Hello, everyone. This is the beautiful Kat. She is an alumni of my BAA Academy. Um, so Kat, do you want to maybe just like say hi and introduce yourself and tell us something about you first? Yes. So like Kristen said, I am a BAA alumni and I enrolled in BAA last September. And before that, my life looked incredibly different from what it does now. But I am also a manifestation coach living the dream life, doing the things, using manifestation and the law of attraction to help other women change their lives just like Kristen did with mine. Amazing. And I just like, I'm so obsessed with you and watching your journey because we were just talking before this and we first connected back in September and it is unbelievable talking to you now versus like when we first talked, like not just has your life transformed, but you have transformed and I can feel it in your energy. It's, it's amazing. I'm so proud of you. And I would love for you to kind of share maybe where you were before we talked in September and what your life looks like now. Totally. So a little over a year ago now, I completely shifted my life. I've always lived in Colorado and I moved to Boise, Idaho to help one of the friends open a restaurant thinking that that like was my path. There was nothing else for me and I needed to go up there and do that. And in following my intuition and being up there, I felt like my life was like crumbling and that nothing was going the way that I thought it was going to. So I've always been a very spiritual person. I was asking the universe for signs of guidance into where, what direction I should go, what's happening, like, why do I feel so awful? And it led me to like truly implementing manifestation and the law of attraction into my life to start to make those changes. And in that space, I started working with like a few different online courses, different things going on, but none of them fully like felt like the right fit for it. And then you popped into my life and <laughs> I found BAA and within like a week of you first messaging me or us first connecting over Instagram, I like automatically fell in love with you and like what you were saying. So I decided to reach out to you, give BAA a chance. And at that point I was working 60 plus hours a week in, in a manager position in a restaurant that I felt completely unfulfilled in and had absolutely no clue how I was going to go from feeling so unfulfilled and broke and honestly awful in that space to something so much better. But I had faith in the process that watching your transformation and what you did was possible for me. So I took the leap of faith and enrolled in BAA and automatically within like the first two weeks of being in BAA and doing what I was doing with your guidance, I felt the most major shifts happening within me. I went from feeling as though that everything was happening to me and that I was a victim to so many different situations in my life to like truly embracing the or, like cultivating love for the struggle, which you say in BAA is like bringing to myself to this space of stepping into my power, stepping into my truth, knowing that I am like the powerful co-creator of everything that's happening in my life. And as the weeks went on, it just became more and more clear that like this was so powerful and that I was also so passionate about it. And I wanted to help other women change their lives doing the exact same things that you were teaching me about and that I wanted to teach them about. So from that space, I decided that I was receiving enough signs of guidance that this was my path as well and that I needed to step in the role of becoming a manifestation coach. So I took that leap of faith. <laughs> and since then, so it's been about seven months since I've actually had my business and been a coach. And from going from where I was making $2,500 a month in my job where I work 60 plus hours a week to now in the space where I am so in my power, so in my passion, helping other women change their lives and manifesting anywhere between 10 to $15,000 a month consistently. The hell yes, that is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Literally 60 hour, like I can't even believe that. That's crazy. And um, I'm just so proud of you. It's incredible. And you know, you are where you are, first of all, because you seriously committed to yourself. Like yeah. I watched your journey and I watched you show up for the inner work and I watched you completely commit to yourself every single week, which is why you've had this massive, incredible growth. And, um, 
I guess for anyone watching who is maybe like feeling like you were in September, like working those 60 hour work weeks, kind of feeling like they don't know what they want to manifest and they don't know how to get there. Like what would your biggest advice be to anyone who feels kind of how you did? Yeah. Okay. So like in that space, feeling like really beaten down that you are in a position that you don't want to be in and you can't seem to focus on anything other than the fact that you're not where you want to be in that space, you know what you don't want. You know that you do not want to feel that way. And from that space, even if you don't have the specific thing of what you want, you at least know that you don't want to have that in your life and you have a desire to shift into something better. So from there, you can start to do the little things like little shift after little shift after little shift equals big shifts. So I started with changing the way that I talked about things. I stopped using anything that felt as though it wasn't supportive of me and of the life that I wanted to create. So no more conversations about like how broke I am or how mm. things were too expensive or that like this girl, it gets this because she's this way or whatever it is that we're conditioned to just do because we've never questioned to do anything different and became very, very intentional and deliberate with the way that I put my words out into the universe and put the energy into the things that I was like talking about and focusing on. Right. That's amazing. And this is something that anyone can do. Like if you're watching this, you're listening, like I see you guys on here, you can start making these shifts right now. Like right now you can make these shifts. And I'd also, I guess, love to know from you, like, do you think that you would be where you are today if you didn't take that risk to invest in yourself? And I know now you have multiple times and on that same note, what did it feel like for you to take that risk initially? Yeah. Okay. So absolutely not like investing in yourself is hands down the biggest energetic shift that you can make for yourself. Like investing in a mentor or in someone who has got the results that you desire for yourself is one of the most powerful things that you can do for yourself because absolutely anybody can get anywhere on their own. But if you want to make it happen, like invest in yourself and do it now. Um, and I was scared shitless. I was like, I, I was left with $200 in my bank account and I didn't wow. know how it was going to come back to me, but I had the faith that it would like from the get go. I knew that this was something that I needed to do. Like my intuition was calling me to do something for myself in that space because all of the things that I, I had done in the past that I was told that I should do, that I took the advice from other people were the right steps for me, never were the right steps for me. And I'm grateful for them. I'm so glad that I've walked the path that I've had in following things that didn't bring, like my intuition didn't call me to because they've given me the lessons that I've needed in order to be in this space now. But like in that moment, like I was scared, but I knew like it felt expansive. Yeah. It felt right. It felt exactly what I was supposed to be doing, even though it made no logical sense. Right. I love that. No logical sense because I feel the same way. It's like that gut feeling of like, oh, I'm supposed to do this, but I'm so nervous because the nerves come from, you know, you're making that huge, like you said, energetic up level. And mm -hmm. that doesn't happen without some, you know, percentage of discomfort. So it's incredible that you were able to do that. And I know you've continued to invest in yourself and, you know, that's how you continue to have massive freaking growth like you have. Yeah. And you know, I guess after going through the academy, what would you say was the biggest shift that took place in your life, maybe whether internally or externally, or that you learned in the academy that really made that big, that big change for you that helped you get to where you are now? Yeah, I think that the lessons around worthiness and believing mm. like limited belief of not being good enough, yeah. or that we are not worthy of or capable of doing something and that we've never actually seen proof of the fact that you are not good enough or that you are not capable of doing anything. Those are just the stories that we've created in our minds and that we have the ability at any moment to shift that dialogue and change the story for ourselves is hands down the most powerful thing that I've ever realized in my life. There's like one week where you say like, do something that makes you uncomfortable. And <laughs> Okay, like I'm gonna get on my Instagram story and I'm gonna show my face and talk. And I sat in my room for four hours, like trying to put wow. the words together around anything. But I was like, this is the first step. Like doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable and realizing that that discomfort 
doesn't mean that you aren't good enough or that there's something bad happening or whatever it is. It's just part of the process. If you're going to continue to understand that, like you can shift the dialogue and change the story and make moves that are going to propel you forward and you don't have to fear it and like stay stuck. I love that. And for anyone watching, if you don't know, I mean, like Kat said, she is a manifestation coach now and she's on her story all the time, sharing her face, like super confident, so many words of wisdom to share. And you would never guess that she sat in her room for four hours, however many months ago that was terrified to show her face, right? Like you would never guess that seeing the way you show up now. And so it is a process and it is a journey. And so for people who relate to that and they're like, I'm terrified of doing this, I'm never going to be like, like that you know, it's a process. And it begins with, like you said, working through the subconscious beliefs and realizing that you're worthy, because truly, that's what creates all of this, this fear on the surface is not feeling worthy. And, um, you know, what have been, I guess, your favorite manifestations that have shown up in your life in the past, however many months it's been like eight or nine months? Yeah, okay. So (laughs) my (laughs) Great manifestation that has shown up is I manifested a 2019 Audi Q5. <laughs> so like my car of all dream cars, I remember the week before I decided that I was going to start my business. My parents came to visit me and I said to them, when I move back to Colorado, I'm going to be driving home in a 2019 white Audi Q5 and I'm going to be making $10,000 a month. And they're like, <laughs> like, you're moving home when? <laughs> like. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with your life that's gonna like have those things and I was like mark my words like I got this like I have faith in myself and in the universe that if I meet it halfway these things are gonna show up and it yeah. does like it did I've had my Audi for like three months now and I've been living back in Colorado for the past two months and all of those things have happened and every single thing that I've like scripted about or put like intentionally put out there, like with your five steps to manifest or whatever it is, has manifested. And I think that one of like incredible, the most incredible things is that you've taught me this. And this is like something that I teach my clients. It's not a matter of if your manifestations are going to show up, it's a matter of when, and when you can align with the vibration of those things, like they show up with speed. When you take the aligned action to make it happen, they show up. But like, yes, they do. It's not a matter of if. Yeah. Oh, I have literally goosebumps over my legs as you're talking because that just like hits home. It's that's so good and so excited for you. Like you manifested an Audi. That is like unbelievable. And I know what that feels like to have people be like, you're crazy. Like what? You're going to manifest 10K months and like leave your job and get a car and what? So, you know, I know a lot of people deal with that. You know, people around them not being supportive or not really getting it when they want to manifest these big, crazy things. So how did you get through that? You know, maybe the experience of not having your parents or people around you totally supportive or understand where you're coming from. I think that the biggest thing in it was understanding that my truth and my perspective of reality is never going to fit anybody else's perspective of reality. So from that space, like trying to dim my light or trying to please other people or comfort other people is never going to bring me what I actually want. And I went through 22 plus years of doing that in my life. And it finally got to the point of like, Kat, you can't dim your light anymore to make other people happy. Like other people are uncomfortable when you say that you're going to be making $10,000 a month. And like at some point, like that's because I had this like uncomfortable feeling within myself that I didn't feel comfortable in the fact of that. But like really getting to the reason of like why I felt these things in the first place and what is my truth in it brought me to the space of that's true for me. That's what works for me. That's my definition of success or of happiness or whatever it is. And that's nobody else's. Even if I was to be, I always use like my best friend as an example. If we were to put on the same goggles of like, or each other's goggles of reality, they'd be so different. Yeah. And even though we feel so aligned, they're so different. So why not do anything other than what's true for you? Right. I love the example of the goggles because it's so true. Our belief systems kind of create this lens through which we see reality. And, you know, you have to meet others at their level of consciousness without expecting them to be at yours. And that's how I feel around, you know, the family and friends thing. So what that's a beautiful way to describe it. And I think that's going to help a lot of people who are listening 
And, um, you know, I guess what advice would you give to the version of you um, a year ago? If you could go back right now and tell her anything, what would you tell her? Oh, man, I think I would tell her to invest in herself even sooner. Like Mm. anybody who is listening right now and is thinking about investing in BAA, like do it. (laughs) <laughs> this drug got your back and investing in yourself. Like if you feel a connection with someone and know that you are called to do more and step into your power, like take steps on that because the sooner that you do this sooner, the universe is going to see that up level within you and start bringing and like, you're going to start attracting all of those bigger and better things into your life. Amazing. I love that. And Gosh, I really hope anyone watching this is, is truly inspired by you because I know I am, you know, and able to see that like you don't need to be able to feel like everything is totally possible for you yet. Like I bet if you went back to yourself a year ago, she would have never believed that you would be like manifesting your dream car and like making $15,000 once, right? Yeah, no way. Yeah. yeah. That, that was also, I was talking to one of my clients yesterday of the thing like in the space of investing in yourself and not necessarily knowing if the funds are there or how to create that abundance in your life when you genuinely don't feel abundant is as soon as you start to live that internal truth. Like I know that you've talked about the fact that you drink water out of wine glasses because it makes you feel abundant, like literally making luxury experiences out of anything. I will eat oatmeal in the morning or whatever it is and be like, oh gosh, I'm so grateful for <laughs> like beautiful bowl of food that I am eating in this incredible restaurant and like make this game out of life because you don't have to go out and buy all these bougie things to feel abundant. You can feel abundant now and you can attract that abundance now from any sort of experience that you're having within your life now. Yes. I just got full body chills again. You're just like literally so many just truths. I (laughs) love this. Obviously, this is why you're now teaching this to people. It's incredible. And I'm also curious because I know a lot of people want to manifest their purpose. Did you Mm -hmm. always know that this was what you wanted to do to be helping people and teaching manifestation? No, I had absolutely no clue. So up until last year, like I knew about manifestation, the law of attraction, like I had manifested like boyfriends or like concert tickets or whatever it was in my life. And like, I thought it was cool, but I didn't understand that I could do it to literally like we do manifest every single thing in our lives. And when I was feeling so like low and exhausted and just like burnt out from working those 60 hour weeks in the restaurant, I remember just like thinking to myself that I'm never going to make anything of myself because I didn't get a college degree and that Mm. I can't create the success that I want to see in my life until I do that or that I like have this level of knowledge within myself that I can do these things. And I think that what shifted in that was that I was at such a low point that all I had to like truly bring me through it was my faith and knowing that my faith was greater than my fears and that all of those stories that I was telling myself that as long as my connection to the universe was greater, that I was going to be guided to where I needed to be guided to. And in that, like I said, I said to the universe, like guide me towards consistent $10,000 months. And I thought it was the blog. And I thought it was like a ton of other things before it was becoming a coach. And even when I was like, okay, like this is an industry, this is cool. Like I'm more interested in this and want to learn more about it so that this could potentially be a route for me. I still wasn't certain that this was my path and my purpose until I was actually in it. And like seeing the results that the women that I was working with were getting and like truly feeling so in my power and so in my purpose in doing it. And that was kind of scary at first. I was like, like, is this the right path? I don't know. But like, if it isn't, that's okay because the universe has something greater coming for me. Yes. And I mean, I, I love that because that's how my journey was too. I was kind of like, all right, universe, you know what? Guide me, show me the way. And it was not what I thought it was going to be. I thought mine was going to be blogging too, like health blogging. <laughs> and yeah. obviously it wasn't, you know? So even if right now, once again, you're watching this and you're like, I want those $10,000 months and it's going to come this way. 
it's more a process of being open because the universe knows the absolute best way, the path of least resistance to get you there, but you have to be open to it. And you have to be able to say yes when the things show up like you did, which is why you are where you are. And once again, like, I can't say this enough. I'm so proud of you. And just like, it's so incredible. It's been such an honor to watch you transform truly. And um, I know that even bigger things are coming for you. So what, what are your, what is coming for you? Like, what are you wanting to manifest in the next six months to a year? What are the next steps for you? Um, I definitely want to manifest more success within my business and impact the lives of more women um, because that has been hands down the most fulfilling thing that I've ever done. I also once like travel is more of a thing and COVID is not like impacting us in that sort of sense. I'm traveling all around the world. Yes, me too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to meet up. Yes. Um, I'll be yes. There. Now that you've manifested the abundance when it's available, you can go use that abundance and go wherever you want. And geez, that is the kind of freedom that, I mean, is absolutely just like, there's nothing else like it. There is nothing else like it, being able to get up and go where you want to go. So thank you so much for being here. I know that this was so inspirational for so many people. Looking at the comments, people are so, Shannon says, proud of you. Oh, and then there's another Shannon says, that's awesome. OMG, keep up the good work. People are just so supportive of you. And um, thank you so much for being here and sharing all of your wisdom. Um, Truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. I like, like I said, and to all of the gals that are listening, like Kristen is incredible. You've changed my life. I feel honored to have you as one of my mentors. And I'm so excited for both of us. Me too. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> and if, if anyone, if you haven't noticed, we showed up wearing like literally the same thing. Both of us in our like blue jean jacket. Well, thank yeah. you. Right. We are literally on the same wavelength. We are just talking. We're always sharing the same content on the same days. Like we're on the same wavelength. We're in the same vortex. We're in the same abundance vortex. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I won't take up any more of everyone's time. Thank you again to everyone watching. Everyone have an amazing day. <laughs>